although I do want to say one more word about Thursday night. Um, for those of you who haven't had a chance yet to see the beautiful um, art installation that we have crafted, um, I just want a special thank you to Reverend Tom who did the yeoman's physical work. Uh, and and uh, yeah, amen, amen, as he often does. Uh, but all of the beautiful um, people in the community that donated doors, as you observed on Thursday, uh, we're convinced that everybody in Medford has a door that they wanted to get rid of. And <laughs> we were only able to take 11. Uh, so it is, uh, it is we, I, 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 I just am so moved by this art. And it feels so special that we've been able to pull this off. So I just want to say thank you, especially to Tom, but to the vision. Uh, it was his vision. Uh, and uh, I just helped kind of set things up. So. I thank you for that. Um, it's really beautiful. And, um, and please take a pride flag home with you. Um, uh, let me see some flags waving back there, Freddie. Amen. Amen. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so it's pride. So, so hallelujah uh, for and that. Last but not least, I can't believe we're already here. It's already this late in the year. Uh, next week is our Youth Sunday service, uh, which is followed by an outdoor potluck picnic. So we invite you to, to bring some sort of picnic-y foods, uh, however, however you interpret that. Uh, and we'll have a, a nice time uh, outside. And we'll have a, a blow-up obstacle course for the kids to play in. Uh, it's always a fun time. If, if it rains, I guess we'll be inside and we'll have to say goodbye to the obstacle course for the Sunday, but we'll bring it back later in the summer. The next week about uh, the colors of the flags. All right, so I want to talk about rules today. Rules, rules. I don't like following rules. No, you don't like it? No? You sneak your iPad? Don't tell anybody. What kind of rules do you like to break? Tell me. Go ahead. Um, stealing my brother's phone without asking. Oh, taking a phone that you're not supposed to be. Reverend Tom, do you have any rules that you don't like to follow? Oh, yeah. Um, I like Okay, that, that's a tough one, taking your shoes off because they're dirty. Freddie, what rule do you like not to follow? Not eating candy. Ooh, not eating candy when you're not supposed to. Anybody else have any rules that they don't like to follow? Anybody out in the congregation? Peggy Sue? Me and my friends ever sneak candy out all Sneaking time. candy. Sneaking candy, ooh. Many of the things that my wife tells me to do. You know? like, like a bad, bad relationship, the kind of relationship you might term toxic. Danny, Danny back there, the kind of relationship where, where you end up feeling more torn down than you feel built up. The kind of relationship where, where the longer you're in it, you realize that I don't even know who I am anymore. And this person that I've become, I don't even particularly like. Have you been in that kind of relationship before? Uh, so just a little bit about me. I've been married 10 years now, and that's not the toxic relationship I'm going to talk about. Um, and, we, and we dated some time before we got married. And still, after all these years, almost a decade and a half later, I have an ex-girlfriend that my family still calls for my benefit, they still call her she who shall not be named. <laughs> right? So if after 15 years, you're still referring to your ex. You're still comparing them to Voldemort, <laughs> the arch villain of the Harry Potter series, right? That is a good indication that you are in a bad, unhealthy, toxic kind of relationship. <laughs> True story. <laughs> we continue to study Leviticus over the next few weeks is that we will continue to make the roots of that mission plain. So plain, in fact, that even old she who shall not be named could appreciate them. And I need you to know, she did not appreciate much. <laughs> Friends, in Jesus' name, may it be so. Amen. Amen.